Hi, I'm Peggy with Headshots by Peggy. And today, Victoria Hoffman joins me and you are going to love this. Victoria, I am so glad we finally got um, together. We've been trying for a long time to do this vlog. Yes, we have. <laughs> so I'm glad I just reached out and was like, hey, jo what are you doing tomorrow? Let's do this. And this is the beauty, the beauty of Zoom. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Victoria Hoffman is amazing. She is a casting director. Um, she works with AFI. Do you still work, officially work with AFI? Okay. You also mm -hmm. work, I don't know if you still do, so I should just let you introduce yourself, but I'm going to blotch it all up and then you can correct me. How's that? Um, <laughs> for the sag after Conservatory, do you still work pretty close with I, them? I still work with the sag after Conservatory. Perfect. Um, and I'm on the um, LA Conservatory Committee okay. at sag after so yeah. Good. So, yeah. so you're just you're just up there doing all sorts of stuff, and you also do a lot of theater. Yes. In yeah. fact, I think that's where we officially met you. Is I think Merrick did a uh, reading or something at the road with you once. I don't know. That is where I first yeah. saw him at the road. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. And then of course you know, TV Academy functions. I know. <laughs> I, I remember when we used to go get dressed up and uh, go do those things. Remember that? Remember? Mm -hmm. I really miss that. I have to be honest, I didn't think I would miss it as much as I do. I really miss it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Lot. There, and for anybody that's listening, the Television Academy, you know, until, you know, this year and because of quarantine, used to sponsor these, the, the different shows and the different networks would sponsor these events that we could go and we could see a screener and they feed us and then you'd get to talk to the actors because they, uh, they want your vote as an Emmy voter. And so it was just a really good opportunity for us to see one another and sort of commune with you know, other artists. And, and also, you know, uh, all kinds of interesting projects were born from, from many of those occasions, just from those conversations. Exactly. Networking is so important because yeah. it's just you, you get people, creative people together talking and it's like, oh, you do that? Oh, wow, let's do that. Oh, you know, I had this idea and, you know, things just, that's how things get born. And I feel like that's what we're missing right now. Like, I know we went to one, did you make it to the West World? The one no. and only, yes, we went to the I, one and only. Um, I didn't get in, and then I heard from so many people that I should have just showed up. Because yeah, yeah, it was, it was, and, and they were already kind of, um, they, it was right before the whole six feet, everything went into, but we were still kind of distant, and it was, it was, but it was literally the last event we did before closing, closing it all down, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I miss seeing you because I am used to seeing you several times a year at different things. And so I, I absolutely miss, and you, um, you do casting for the AFI stuff. And I know yeah. that our yeah. 15 year old, I, I delivered her headshot. So I'm like, Hey, this is Sam. Make sure that, uh, <laughs> you have these on file. See, so this is fantastic. tell so, us, well, so for the AFI conservatory, um, uh, and, and we, <laughs> You know, there's kind of like like the whole rest of the industry. There's conversations every single day. So we're almost like you know sitting vigil and watching and figuring out like when we're going to be able to come back safely because all the different schools have to develop their own protocols for you know for for how to for how to shoot and shoot safely. Um, and so you know we hope we're you know mid to late september we don't know you know um we were on that track of course and now we've you know had a lot of quarantine measures rolled back you know me meaning put back in place right um so um but you know during a normal year we you know we um our first year fellows cast they do three short films in their first year and they call them cycle films and so that's that's about 90 films that are made that um use the sag conservatory as their database um not for kids kids 
uh, under the age of 18, they can use anybody they want. And, um, and, and if, if there's something so specific that it can't be found within the SAC conservatory, then of course they can look in the larger community of, uh, of, of, of actors to find them. So, um, so there's that, and then there's um, thesis films that happen as well. And those thesis directors often will, you know, call upon me in my office. Uh, my title is the manager of casting. So at, at the AFI Conservatory. So, so I'm just there to, um, to, to, to guide and in some instances to cast. Um, there are some thesis films that, you know, directors have reached out to me. Um, it's, it's, it's gonna be interesting, Peggy. I'm curious and, and, and we'll, we'll be reaching out to actors shortly just to find out, you know, who would still want to work on a student film, on an AFI film you know, as people start going back into the workplace. And it's one thing to be on a set and you know you're being paid and you're getting money towards your insurance. And it's another thing to be on a set when you're there for, for footage and experience and, you know, and to, 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 to do better work, right? So um, I hadn't really real I hadn't thought about like, oh, you know, that might, that's going to, it's going to be, you know, just a case by case basis of who really feels safe. Uh, of course, we'll make sure that, we create a safer space as, 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 as any place else in the industry, you know, like to school, you have to, you have to follow the rules even harder. <laughs> well, and I don't know if everybody realizes, but AFI puts out some amazing yeah. stuff, mind blowing, like what the heck stuff. And not only that, but the thing that actors need to think about, like, why would I want to go do a student film? Uh, because these are going to be tomorrow's directors and writers and filmmakers. Yeah. And if you get in early on with them, you have no idea who is going to put out the next big thing. There, I mean, there is uh, an actress friend of mine, Christine Sloan. I don't know if you've met her. I bet, I bet Merrick has, has met her somewhere along the way because she does a lot of theater as well. Uh -huh. And um, she, was it in last year's season or the year before? I think she did something like five cycle films, first year films. Wow. Right? And th but then those directors moved on, so she did two or three thesis films this uh -huh. year. Um, she's got these relationships with these directors now that, um, that wherever they are in the world, whatever they're making, they're, they're going to be hiring her. Yeah, for sure. Right. I mean, and she understands this and she's gotten to do just really interesting work. She's uh, was com uh, completely able to, 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 to make her real like over again, but, but with meteor material, you know, that as you say, it looks gorgeous, right? Oh, I, I was, I was, I remember, um, we had a friend that was in a student film and of course we went just, you know, because she was in it and we got there and we were like, oh my gosh, this is better than half the movies we've seen in the theater. I mean, we were blown away because it was the 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 festival or whatever the at the end of the year. So we watched several um, different films and we were just like, wow, this is some high quality stuff. It was it's really it's, good. It's interesting too. I mean, last year for the Student Academy Awards, five of the seven finalists were AFI students and the three gold, silver and bronze medals were AFI students. Do you know what I mean? And the one the one wasn't, you know, right. AFI. And then even even this year now, um, like Warner, the Warner Brothers directing program, there's a Disney writing program, there's different programs where e in each of those programs, there's two or three AFI grads sort of jumping, getting that sort of short shortcut to work. So yeah. I yeah. love, I love, I love seeing that. I love it for them, for the students, the fellows themselves, you know. But you know they're they're encouraged and they're um, they're um, challenged with telling very personal stories and 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 original stories and so I think that's why they turn out so well. And then, as you said, I cast a lot of theater around town, and a lot of that's going to be on hold for a bit. But with with Rogue Machine, where I'm the resident casting director, but then you know. I, I mean, at A Noise Within and at Boston Court and at um, um, the Greenway Terrace. I've gotten to do two shows for them, um, the New American Theater. So, you know, sort of spreading my wings, yeah. you know, 
but I, but you know, theater, that's where I found so many wonderful actors and you know, it's like, where do you, you want to go? You want to find the great people <laughs> to be in movies, go to the theater. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, there's so many amazing big movie people in theater that it's, you know, as producers, writers, you know, there's, you just yeah. never know who you're going to, who you're going to see at the theater. Uh, you know, it's, I think too, sometimes, at least here in Los Angeles, some of the, some of the intimate theaters around town, you know, there'll be, there'll be writers who, you know, writer producers who work in television a lot, who are wanting to work out a new piece of material. Uh -huh. And maybe they think that it, it eventually will be a film or it might eventually be like a, um, a, a comedy pilot, right? But they'll do it on stage first. They want to, they like, they come from stage and maybe they want to work it out and see. And so that's a great opportunity, I yeah. think. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, clearly we don't know when um, theater will be back. I know they're doing a lot of Zoom readings and zoom productions right now to to keep people active and you know connected but um it's definitely not the same <laughs> it's not the same but i think what what we'll find in the coming months is that you know theater theater companies and theater professionals are getting very creative in the space itself and finding ways to create you know, uh, you know, a, a different kind of experience where it might be in Zoom, but you're still, you know, you're still getting a storyline and you're still seeing characters. And, and when you go beyond the reading, when people are on book mm -hmm. to something that's rehearsed, people are off book and really using this, their space and their camera and like, all, right. all, all kinds of things like that. I think we're going to find, I've already seen some interesting things with something that came out of a company in London that was, um, the way they used Zoom was amazing. And um, they, and it, if you didn't mind that you might be a part of the whole experience, you're supposed to leave your camera on. Oh, wow. So, mm -hmm, yeah. And then they would, you know, they would give people prompts and then they would zoom in on like, a person and all of a sudden you'd show up like hey we need for you to make rain so let's hear you do this and make it you know so it's like okay so people are doing some interesting things that's really so, fun so uh it's it's not that it's gonna be completely dead but you're right it's not gonna be the same yeah right it can't be the same um but at the same time companies and artists aren't just gonna not do anything well, that's the thing. We are creative people. We're going to figure out how to create. And that's what's been fun is to watch um, what people are doing and, and how they're putting the medias together. Like, okay, well, um, we have a camera. Um, let's do this. Let's, what can we do? And, you know, and, and people are getting very creative and, and, and it's fun because it's given... I, I know for Merrick, um, he's been doing tons of classes and just, just to keep his mind, you know, just to keep himself mm -hmm. sane and, you know, keep busy. And I know a lot of our friends, same thing. They're just doing lots of, of stuff just to keep busy and keep sharp. And, you know, as you do that, you experiment and you're like, oh, well, here, let's try this or let's move this light this way or let's put this up. And, mm -hmm. you know, you just kind of, you figure it out, you know? Well, you know, I think, and particularly when you know you're you're talking about uh, keeping sharp and maximizing opportunities e you know even here in quarantine the opportunities of of networking with casting directors have been uh, you know there have been so many of them yeah um, because you know they've done monologue challenges and uh and uh uh, the casting director's cut, the, you know, the, the company of casting directors that also advises on reels, I think, um, they did a, they did a, like a, a Zoom movie challenge, a quarantine movie challenge, and they had people sending in 15 seconds, you know, yeah, and they gave people, so, I mean, there's, there's, there, there has been a lot of that, and, and, and I mean, I'm sure, as you say, you know, Merrick is already seeing some self-taping come back in. Mm -hmm. So some commercials are shooting. There's some that can, you know, do it safely. Voiceovers never went anywhere. Right. So, um, so 
you know, voiceover, voiceover casting and, and bookings and jobs are, are, they might even be at a higher volume than they were because it's the one sector that people can work from home quite easily, you know? So, uh, so it's not like, you know, I feel like Monty Python, we're not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think, um, what are you seeing um, as far as how is your um, method of casting going to change? How is your auditions going to change? How, I mean, self tapes were already kind of a thing. Clearly they're going to be a lot more of a thing. Like, what do you, what do you see and feeling? I mean, as much as, as much as I hate to say it, but um, I mean, it, it self tape self, self tapes are gonna be the way. So everyone has to just, get used to it and get their process down. And every office is gonna have a different idea of what it should look like. I mean, obviously for, like for AFI, for those films, however anyone wants to send their self tape in, I think that our directors, our fellows, really, they're not gonna care. They're not gonna care if you've got just the perfect ring light or, or you know, um, but, you know, you're still gonna wanna do things where you have not a busy background and you can be seen and you can be heard. But um, to me, the tricky part for everyone is going to be that callbacks and chemistry reads and such might also very well have to be on Zoom. And you can do that. You can do that. You can get a sense, but it's that sense of like, yeah, but how are people going to be together? It, what's really worth taking that particular risk? I mean, it's enough being on set and having your zone A that is the safest place where the actors can be, but for directors to rehearse with their actors, you know? Um, I think, I mean, my, my, my supposition and my suggestion as, as our year starts up again is going, to be, is going to be to utilize this space, whether it's Zoom or whether it, there's so many other platforms that you can use. There's other platforms that do sound better where you can overlap sound better, you know? So, um, and they're filmmakers, they'll find a way. <laughs> exactly. You know? I mean, I mean, but I think for us, I'm also going to suggest, uh, you know, they could do a FaceTime session. They could do, uh, you know, they could do, you know, an, an iPad thing, that, but, but where they're calling, you know, like, whoop, whoop, that's possible. Um, but I think, as we hear, and, and I'm sure you and Merrick know this as well, that we hear from um, our union and we hear from so many of the wonderful SAG Foundation um, webinars that, that have been uh, produced and offered lately, every casting director is saying, eh, sell tapes. This is, this is what we're gonna have to do. It's gonna be a while before we are gonna feel safe having people come into our office. Yeah. Now, now, classrooms at AFI, you know, when we are given the, the go ahead that it's okay for people to come back to campus, when that happens, um, you know, the rooms are large enough that you really can keep a safe distance uh -huh. from anybody coming into audition. So we'll see. I mean, I know that one of the things that we like and that the students need, that the directors need, is they need the experience of working like with an actor in a room, giving feedback, you know, um, um, seeing what works and what doesn't. And sometimes that's like this, like we can't really look each other in the eye right. here on Zoom, you know, and everybody's used to that, right? But it's, it's different. I mean, I'm completely connected with you, you here. But, it, but if I look and now it looks like I'm looking at you, it's like, okay, well, I see that you're doing a thing. Right. <laughs> I can't exactly tell what it is. So, you know, it's gonna, I think it's gonna slow the process down a bit. Um, I think for, for television shows, I think there's a lot of offices that are actually rather excited by this because it makes their job easier. They can actually see more actors. They can get all of the casting tapes that they re receive, you know, they can more easily funnel those to producers, right? What I lament is the face-to-face the -face contact that's going to be lost for a time, not forever. Not forever. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of offices that really 
want you to come in, you know, so that want to see you that like love actors and they miss actors. And they want to talk to actors. Right. Know? And I do love that, that so many casting uh, people have done Instagram lives and challenges and, you know, all these different things. I, I love that because I feel like that's, I'm sure they're bored just like everybody else. So it gave them an opportunity to spend a little bit more time with people than they, they would have normally had. So it's, it's some good is going to come out of this, but it just, it's so different. You know, it's, it's uh, interesting. I've been, I've been really gratified to see some great actors who are also dear friends who have, you know, been like in the top 10 of some of these challenges. And, and, and I think that that's being spread around a lot. So I love that sometimes even actors that aren't represented are now getting their work seen yeah. by big offices. And so, so I think it's what we make of it and you have to really you know, really stay open to whatever opportunities are, are presented, but, you know, not mm, overkill because there's, in a way, there's been so much Yeah, that there's been this weird to me, kind of like a quarantine FOMO, like, oh my gosh, what am I missing? Am I missing something? <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing an IG live that I'm missing? No, I don't. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I've been, I've been really wanting to you know, listen intently about what other casting directors are doing and what other offices are doing. Just, you know, because I feel that the, the, the more we can sort of be mirroring each other, because it's going to help the actor, you know, it's going to, it's going to have a certain kind of a protocol in place that, that everybody's going to feel comfortable with. Right. Know? And, and if everybody's kind of doing similar things, it's going to be easier for, um, you know, for, for the actor to like, okay, I, I can do this. I got this. And, and there's just like, just like before some offices had very, very specific self tape instructions and other people are like, do a self tape, make sure you slate. And others are like, it has to be here and it has to be this. And it has to be at this angle. And it has to be. And if it's not all perfect, we won't even consider. And it's like, this you know, this is when you're in really good shape being an editor. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's like sometimes I see those self tapes come through and I think, well, I do this, like this is part of what I do for my clients, so I can do this, but I'm thinking of those actors that are trying to follow these instructions on their iPhone and I'm like this is this is tough, you know. I um, think it can be. I think, you know, this is why in a way you have to get it down to a science where you, you understand your equipment and how it works. Yeah. You don't have to waste any time figuring that out. That's why I'm always telling my viewers, like whether you have auditions or not every day, do a self tape because then you're going to be comfortable with the tech side of it. Plus you're going to keep yourself sharp anyway. And then when you get that audition, you're not scrambling around going, wait, where's my light? I don't know how, where do I stand? What do I do? You'll yeah. have all those crazy things figured out. You're going to know like, okay, this, if I'm going to do this standing up thing, I need to have the camera here. And you'll, you'll always have all the tech stuff down. And that's, that's, then you can concentrate on your audition and not worry about all the, the crazy stuff that they're going to ask for. How am I going to do a full body? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? You already have yeah. that figured out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, uh, and also you might get all of that figured out and then you're, and then you're, hey, oh my God, I can't, why can't I edit this? Why can't I, I want this take and I want this take because they said I could send two, but I have to put it on the one file and, and, yeah. and ads do, and uh, I'm going to be late. And so then there's that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you don't do want to do this great work and then miss out because you didn't get it uploaded. Yeah. Time. Or you didn't follow some crazy instruction on, you know, <laughs> and they were like, nope. And it's like, nah, you work so hard and you had great stuff. So, so just do it every day, edit it. And, and then we have a whole file of quarantine self tapes that we just like, we do start to finish and we just throw them in there. Just so we yeah, that's look great. On them and laugh and you know, whatever. And look what we did. You know, we thought we'd have a handful and we have dozens and dozens of dozens of these because well, we are four months now, four months, we're on about four months now. <laughs> yeah, so. Four months. Yeah. Crazy. 
crazy. Yeah. Crazy. See, see, you don't have to tell our acting community to wear a face covering. Right. Like we get it. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. You know, like, you know, you're, we're, it's, it's none of it's worth the risk. So, so we stay in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is good. No, but you're right. I mean, hey, if anything, you know, you've got, you never know when one of these self-tapes might come in handy. Exactly. Or just to look back on as reference and like, you know, um, because it's always fun to see how you, you know, Merrick's even gone through and redone some, some old auditions. He's pulled other stuff from the internet and, and then it is just fun to see where you see that character at this moment versus where you saw it two years ago when you, you know, read for it or whatever. Well, that's yeah, just true. different. And I think as well, and this is the, this is the, this is the, the, the piece of information that I've been saying it for years and years and years, like, you know, like while I was, you know, the program manager of the SAG conservatory and even before then, when I used to advise actors, um, you know, ultimately we're, we're better off if we are content creators, like if we can also just continue to make, to, to make something. So if you're doing a self tape every day, great. That's a thing that you're making. If you're learning, um, even if it's it, something as easy as iMovie, great. So, you, but you're learning an editing program, you know. So th the more you can do, and and I think particularly now, as work comes back, it might come back more slowly than we might want it to, um, because everyone wants to remain safe because days are going to have to, they're not going to be able to shoot as much in one day as they used to um, because of all the safety protocols, right? So, you know, my brain then says, well, okay, if maybe there's not as much work out there, hmm, maybe I've got to look to my community to see what we might be able to create together that a year from now could be up for a short form Emmy award, you right. know? Well, cause we're looking, we're like rolling back to, you know, Emmys and Emmy events, but um, there are several web series that, you know, are, are created by, by actor friends of mine and they're up for Emmy awards. Yeah. And Did, was yesterday, was, I know it was this, was yesterday the deadline for voting or? Yeah, they were yeah. due last I, night. So. Yeah. I know that Merrick was uh, in in locked in with his computer for hours, it seemed like, so. It takes so long. And like, if you haven't, some of the guest star things, if it's a show you didn't watch and, and you actually want to watch their performances. Yeah. And just weigh in. <laughs> well, this is nice. Um, that was one thing that I can say um, because every year, you know, it's like, okay, I want to watch this. I want to watch this. So this year we had plenty of time to watch things. <laughs> I still didn't get through it all though. Not all of it. Yeah, I'm sure we didn't get through everything either, but we did get through everything that we were like, we have to see this and so-and-so's mm -hmm. in this and we have to check this out. And, you know, and a few other things that just because. <laughs> well, and I will say one of the, one of the good things about all of these things on Zoom, and I would say to anybody that is listening to this as well, is, you know, check the different sites the, like the SAG Foundation sites and the Netflix sites and the I don't know if Netflix FYC SEE is open to everybody or just us I'm not sure but the Q&A's that that are that are posted uh -huh. and some of them are now on certain um, uh, YouTube pages of the different shows or the different channels um, that they made all these things on Zoom and they recorded them at, and these and these Q and A's are fantastic. I mean, we're not in the same room, but there are some where it's just one actor and another actor from a show having a conversation with each other, and so you learn so much about them. And so um, that's that's actually been really enlightening is to listen to, to you know, things like things like uh, Olivia Coleman and Helena Bonham Carter you know, talking about their experience on the crown and they discuss their process and they discuss, you know, being on set and they discuss, you know, so many things just about the making of the show, uh -huh. which I believe, like, hey, this is interesting. 
actors should know these things. <laughs> exactly, so. exactly. And sometimes I feel like um, out of these Q and A's, what I find is, oh, they're human just like us. <laughs> they they had this struggle. They got here. They did, you know. And it it just brings more of a a human side to things where you realize, oh, that could be me. Like that could be me. You know, that's Olivia Coleman never thought she'd get the the role on the crown, you know, to be Queen Elizabeth. And then she didn't think she was right for it. She didn't know she couldn't quite find the voice for it. She would she struggled and struggled and struggled and then I think one day threw her hands up in the air and said, okay, it's not, imp I'm not doing an impersonation of the queen. I just need to embody this character. And I think when she sort of got that, the, 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 at least the, 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 the dialect, that very high, you know, royal thing, you know, after that, um, she eased right into it and did the thing that she knows to do in that she just used all the other actors. Like, you know, they say, they say, um, everything you need is in your scene partner's eyes, you know? So it's something like that. So, right. But so, you know, she's got these amazing actors around her. So she worked with and off of that. And of course, Helena Bonham Carter said, it's the wig. She, she said something like, you know, what did she call her? Something like, her name's Olivia. I think she might've called her Ollie or something like that. And she goes, it's the wig. You have to keep the wig. <laughs> Funny. But, but no, but I'm, you know, so. So again, just opportunities in, in the chaos, you know? Exactly. Um, which I think is wonderful. So what is the SAG after conservatory doing right now? Are they? So, so, you know, when quarantine happened, SAG went into um, high gear, emergency gear. How are we going to make sure actors are uh, initially, you know, taken care of? Like, you know, so, so the, the leadership on the national level decided to press pause on a lot of different programs within SAG-AFTRA and the SAG Conservatory is one of those programs that they press pause on. Uh -huh. um, so it's just in pause. It's just, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm hoping that here in the fall here in like August, <laughs> you know, when schools back in schools are sort of back, Oh, everyone's having to be home again at school, but um, that that things might be um, under control enough that the, the programming can be relaunched, but on Zoom in the Zoom space. Because I think all of the different instructors, there are they, they've already migrated all their classes online. Exactly. So I so I do believe it can come back. It's you know it's just SAG after it needed to sort of funnel all the resources initially on, on identifying survival mode. Yeah, survival mode and COVID treatment and, and making sure that all the resources were on the website for actors mm -hmm. for like unemployment issues and for health plan issues and all of those things. So, so much had to go to that. Um, so, uh, so I mean, my fingers are crossed and I'm in, you know, and I'm in touch with, um, you know, the people running the conservatory, just to say, you know, any news, any news, but I do think it's also a question of resources and, um, and when they're able to, to refocus, um, you know, on all of the different programs that SAG-AFTRA offers. Um, I think it's probably part, part of the reason that the SAG Foundation has had so many of these webinars with casting directors mm -hmm. is they said, well, we are, because the SAG Foundation is its own entity and you know and they're saying well we're we're gonna pick up here and and figure out what what we can do right to make sure actors if if actors don't realize which um a lot of actors sag actors don't realize that the conservatory is so so amazing so i know it's on pause right now but it will come back at least oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah it's not going anywhere and yeah. it is such an amazing resource for actors it's 65 dollars a year ish not even not even it's 45 dollars for a year okay and, and and the membership is good from for a year from the time that you join and when it's you know when 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 we're back on a regular schedule um it's 
there the, for this forty five dollars, and you know who knows they they could decide to change price structures after all of this. I'm I'm sh I'm, I'm sure those conversations are being had, um, but there. Uh, it's it's this robust program of classes and workshops and networking events. So, so many. I mean, you can't even take one acting class for $45 and you have no. a year worth of amazing no, and, instructors you know, the, and classes and workshops. It's with with really wonderful. The, the commercials classes, you know, are all being taught by um, working commercial session directors. Um, I would love for any of those to, to, to be able to be migrated online because, you know, so useful to learn how commercial auditions are happening. Like some studios have been able to open back up, but they're doing a lot of Zoom auditions as well. And that's yeah. very different in the commercial space. Yeah. So I would love for conservatory actors to sort of get a primer on that. It'd be wonderful. Um, but there's, uh, you know, um, the, uh, um, um, having a brain fart, but those, uh, a, a storied actor teacher, Alan, I'm having a brain fart, but he was teaching like a six week class, you know, every Monday for, for, you know, two hours, uh, you know, for 45 hours. <laughs> yeah, like, a year, amazing. 45, a year, not 45 a class, 45 for the whole year. Yeah. And so I think like, like, it's worthwhile to, and it's like, you, you go to the website and you have to make sure you're logged in and you 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 do like sagafter.org slash la conservatory uh -huh. and that lands you on the landing page and so then there's a whole explanation of everything the conservatory does i don't i don't know that you can enroll right now i don't think they want any i don't know if they want necessarily anyone to enroll right now until all the programming is back up mm -hmm. and running i i know it's I know it's imminent. Right. So that's why I think it's a good idea to just keep checking. And you know? and the youth program, the youth conservatory, um, you don't have to be a member of SAG. Um, any any youth can can attend those. And yeah. I know Sam was going like every other Saturday forever. And I mean, from audition classes to uh, just a range of even teaching how to run your social media. If you're an actor, how do you, how should you be running your social media? Like all of these amazing, amazing things. So I, I know that um, I've had um, a, people on here before and we've talked about it, but you are so, so involved. And I wanted to make sure that people realized what an amazing resource this is. And it's on pause, but it'll come back. So keep this and your list to, you know, your to-do list, check on this and follow up on this. Because oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, you know, I wish, I mean, I wish, uh, I mean, it's, it's actually on my list to right. get back in touch with everybody this week. Just, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. I know it's really hard. I mean, uh, um, yeah, again, so just so many of the union's resources had to go towards towards not just COVID, but contract negotiations, the it's theatrical been contracts, year. and now the busy year. And now like voiceover is the animation contracts, like that's coming up. So yeah, there's 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 been a lot and you know, and it's a nonprofit. It's not this huge organization. So so I know, I know it, it'll will We'll be back. Um, <laughs> but then it's also like when you're in the SAC Conservatory, you're in the database for AFI films, and it's a unique database for AFI films. And so um, there's a real sh there's a real shortcut. And I tell I tell all the fellows that it's they're they're so fortunate to have this database because I mean these are all people that are already saying yes, I'm interested in doing AFI films. I'm interested in working with you. I get it, you know, I get what it's about. I get that it's the learning experience for everybody, but it's also, and especially for young performers, it's, yeah. I mean, you know, if you're a young performer and you're doing commercials and you're either getting no dialogue or you're getting, thanks mom, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, but, and then, and then you get this really wonderful role that, you know, allows you to create a whole character. And that's the thing that you can put on your reel to show, you know? Um, I think that that's a real gift. 
and the networking, the people that you meet. Um, I mean, that those could be life changing lifetime, you know, people. So that's, that's, this is, it's, I, I love, I love, um, the conservatory and I love AFI. So I'm, I'm excited. I've been, I, we, you and I have talked about doing this vlog and <laughs> one silly thing or another always comes up. So I'm, I'm glad that you're here next time you come on, it'll be in yes. person. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Hallelujah. Absolutely. Oh my God. Absolutely. And I can see you. I can see your pretty eyes. <laughs> I think it's so fun. Yeah, everyone, like, if you look at the difference between the two, the two know. things. She's like blonde, blue eyed, her lovely light, airy background. <laughs> I got some kind of bordello going here. I, I, I like it though. I like your, you know, I, I was thinking like, you know, should I be doing these Zoom in the studio in a background? And I'm like, well, this is friendly and light and, you know. It's I like that. I like that. <laughs> but I love the, uh, you, you look so royal and classy over there. <laughs> that's look very royal, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And I love the hair light look. look oh, all thank you. Very, thank you so good. much. Very, very, well, you. very well done. So what else do you want to tell my viewers? What else didn't, what didn't we cover? Well, I mean, you're also the headshot queen, so, but they Talk know that. Talk to me about, yeah, yeah, you're, I can't believe I didn't bring that up. So, you're a casting director. What? Yeah. yeah, let's talk headshots for a minute. Um, I mean, I'm, I, I think everyone's starting to, starting to, knows at this point. That's, that's the, that's the number one tool in your arsenal. Um, because wherever you're going to post that headshot, if that doesn't draw somebody's eye to you, then they're just going to go right past you and and they you know they can be so evocative i mean obviously they need to look like you you know um but the, they want to you want to you want to be caught in in some kind of emotional state feeling something communicating something from the headshot if it's just a super pretty smiling look at how great i look there's a lot of those yeah there's so many of those, right? Um, and, you know, the beautiful thing is, I mean, we live in California with such wonderful light, you know? So you do have the option of a natural light or mixed, you know, a little bit of both or, you know, saying to your photographer, I, I kind of like studio light. I want to try that. I want to see what that feels like. But um, um, it's, it's you, whatever it is that you do, though, you've got to, here that you yeah, got that big yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like two by two it's little and when 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 um when we're looking at at the submissions on breakdown it's not you know we're we're not seeing very very big a space and so so you have to sort of look at everything that you're looking at nice and big to see if you like it and then look at the little version as well and make sure that your essence just jumps off you know but you know what i mean in when i say in some kind of an emo emotional state or just communicating something so what i tell my clients um like when we're when we're when we're in a headshot session like we get we get into it we're like let's talk about it what's who's what is this character what do we sometimes we'll run a short scene together just to really uh, get them right. you know in the moment because um you know your headshot everybody says your headshot has to pop and people have this perception that well i have to wear red lipstick or i have to wear you know have a bright background or like i have to have it's like no what makes the headshot pop is right here it's your eyes it's your emotion and there is absolutely a difference between you know just the happy yeah, smile right. empty versus you engaging with that camera and letting your photographer pull that emotion, that essence out of you. And that's what makes it pop because as humans, we, we understand eye contact. That's why we're always so lost on these Zoom because we're like, I, I wanna see your eyes, but I don't know where to look. <laughs> I want you to see my eyes, but, um, but because as humans, we, we feel emotions through eyes. Like we, we understand that. So when you give that emotion to the camera, 
then you as a casting director are going to see that. And that's, yeah. good. that's what pops. You're like, there's my police officer. There's my doctor. There's my, you know, yeah. that's what's going to pop. And that's, I mean, I think what I would say, and I'm sure, you know, if, if somebody is lucky enough to be shooting with you, you're already going to tell them this, but any, anybody, you know, if you're, even if you're just starting out and you're going to have to go do the thing in your backyard, you know, in your lovely, um, natural light, that's not direct sunlight. Um, <laughs> um, but you know, you need to identify the character archetypes, like, you know, what's, what are, what are the shows where when you watch them, the, you know, the films or the, or the television shows that you, that you can see yourself doing like that's, that's a character that I would play. And and then what is that character? So, you know, if it's, if it's a cop or if it's a lawyer, like, okay, well, what kind of lawyer is, you know, are they, you know, a, 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 you know, a, a, you know, a, um, a prosecutor, a, an attorney for the defense, uh, somebody that, you know, that works, you know, pro bono downtown LA, that's not somebody that's got a lot of money, you know, like it affects not only what you might choose to wear, it affects the, the energy, you know, that you're going to, you know, oh, I'm a mom, I'm a, I'm a commercial mom. Okay, but are you stressed out? Are you, are you low income? Are you high income? Are you Midwestern? Are you on the East Coast? Are you, you know, like there's just so many. There's so many. Yeah. yeah, you've got to be real, you've got to really be specific. And so I think for anyone that's even, you know, that's considering, you know, shooting, make a list, have this. Start I have a questionnaire that I sent out to my clients. And I also have a questionnaire for people that don't know what their character is. It's kind of something to kind of help, help you ask people that know you that, that, you know, uh, so they can kind of help identify help you kind of break it down and then you can get into specifically okay this is what we're going to accomplish in the headshot session because when you have that then exactly what you said that's going to depend on what wardrobe you bring to the studio that's going to yeah. depend on i mean i used to have clients come in and they'd say i'd say okay what are we doing today and they'd say well i want a good theatrical and a good commercial and i'm like okay 10 years ago, 15 years ago, maybe, but not today. Today, it's so specific. Yeah. Like, know what you want. Just the the pretty smile. That's great for grandma's wall, but we're trying to get, <laughs> trying to get work here. We're trying to get you in the door. We're trying to get, we're trying to get Victoria to notice you and call you in. So, well, do it like her. And <laughs> listen, and I, 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 uh, I wish I had, I have headshots that I love that I save. Oh, so yeah. I'm, you know, if you're of a, if you're of a certain age, um, back when we actually did accept headshots, it's still I'm gonna say it the most efficient way. It's so much faster to like get a headshot in your hand, you know, and it's like it's like oh good face, oh resume versus versus I'm clicking and I'm clicking and oh good face and oh, let me click on the resume load 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 okay and like you know. Oh my God, can this be faster? Right. You know? so, um, but this is, this is where we are now. It is. But I mean, but, but the, the good ones, and of course at, at AFI, people are always dropping off headshots all the time because sometimes actually I'll say, well, listen, if you want to give me an actual headshot, I keep a file, you know, right by my desk so that when I'm in a hurry or when I'm you know, or when one of the fellows comes in the door and I'm, I'm looking for this specific one, hang on. Like these are the people that were proactive and brought me a dang headshot. Let's see, because right. they, they really, they really want to do this. Hang on. Oh, here's a go. We'll look at this one. This is great. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, but it's true though. The, the, a really good shot, even when you're scrolling and you've got, you know, you've got your 16 or 24 faces, you know, that you're looking at that really good shot, you know, you will say, oh, wow. Oh, oh man, oh, that's a good face. Okay, let me look at the resume. You know, exactly. like something is, something is speaking to me and wanting to pull me in closer to know more about that person. 
And my little catchphrase I always say is your headshot is the biggest part of your marketing strategy. And there are so many amazing headshot photographers in LA. I mean, find that headshot photographer that you, that you gel with, that you click with, that you can, yeah. you know, have that relationship with so that they can pull that out of you. And because your headshot is so serious, that's, if you're going to invest in one thing, invest in a headshot because that's, that's, that's how you're going to get seen. That's your handshake. Exactly. Ha have you, have you found that you're able to like resume shooting safely or are you just letting that go for the time being? Well, I've had a few people call me and I've done a few, um, you know, the actor can't wear a mask. I, actually, I think I'm going to do that. Do just every session, do at least one with them with a mask because who knows? They even if it's just for a profile picture, it's fun to have. Um, but um, I wear a mask the full time. I disinfect everything down. You know, I was kind of a germaphobe before, so I didn't have to make a lot of changes. Changes, yeah. No, um, uh, because I'm I'm seeing it more, and I'm yeah. seeing. You know, there are some photographers that actually have studios with like, uh, like a, a a door that makes it part partially open air. Oh know? yeah, and mm -hmm. I could do that too. Um, you know, I I could leave a door open that's not going to really affect any any lighting or or bother anything. But you know, I take your temperature before you come in because I'm really the one at risk here. I'm wearing a mask, so I'm I'm protecting you from me. I'm kind of the the vulnerable the vulnerable one in the, in the mix. Um, so take your temperature. I ask that, Hey, if you've been exposed or you're not taking it serious, please don't come in. If you're, if you haven't been taking this serious and doing your due diligence to, you know, be smart and wear a mask in public, please, um, find another photographer just because this is right. my family, so, you know, yeah, but, I but most people, most actors are smart. Most actors realize that, you know, it's we have to be safe because we all want to go back to work so you know i've um they come in and you know i thought it would hinder me because i'm so expressive and i get so engaged with my clients um but people say that they're still good they can still see my eyes and and i used to be pretty in your face as far as let me adjust this this you know let me get your hair you know i'm a nitpicker because i don't like to photoshop i'm lazy i want you to be perfect you know, so now mm -hmm. I've learned to use my words. Okay, fix your hair right here. You've got a little thing here, <laughs> and and it's good. Um, and people respond well. They don't, you know. I've never. I, I I'm surprised how easy this is going because I, we're all in this together and we're all being mm -hmm. nice to each other, you know. Mm -hmm. um, or I'm like, okay, here, you know, look in the mirror. Do you see what I'm talking about? That I, you know, if I can't get it expressed to them, but so I can keep my distance and you know. Um, it's been fun. And, and another thing is I'll just be straight up honest. If you want great headshots, now is the time because once I get you in there, you may have booked a two look session, but let me tell you, you will walk out with six looks because I am bored and I've got a client in there. That's not Merrick and not <laughs> Sam. Believe me, we're playing. <laughs> so it's you you're know right. I mean and I, and I mean so I think you know the upshot is you're right though it's like if you're if you're thinking about shooting you know you should contact photographers you should you know you should see what their policy if, is if you know what their policy is what their safety protocols are see if you feel you know safe about it um um you know, you can even ask to, you know, you can ask to, I'm sure to FaceTime and have them walk you through their studio. So you oh, get yeah. an idea of how big it actually is if you yeah. don't want to go in person, which right. I certainly understand. But I mean, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's certainly worth the conversation, I think, because I, because I do, I'm, I'm glad to hear this from you. I know a couple of other photographers that have found a way to go back safely and, and, and are, and are reporting as are the actors that, that are being shot yeah that it's been a great experience that nobody ever felt at risk that so much care was being taken so yeah and i really that's that's been my experience is but i always have awesome clients anyway i feel like the clients that find me are are awesome people you know what i mean i just feel like those that's kind of the people i attract so i've never had any 
um, you know, any issues. We've, we've had a great time. Um, and like I said, I, I'm happier when I'm working. So everybody in the house is happy when I get to go out and, <laughs> and, and play. And I'm fortunate I have a huge space and it's, you know, it's, it's fun. It's, it's, and it's been easier than I thought. I was concerned that can I keep six feet or plus, you know, away and can I work with the mask? But absolutely, you just do it. You just have fun and do it, so. Oh, good, well, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, you know, we are all, we are all just this and this and, you know, and, and, and hoping we can, you know, find our way back. I know, um, you know, a lot of people in the voiceover community are just, happy as clams right home they don't need to go into studios they're just um stay at home i'm not going anywhere we right? upgraded at the beginning of this we upgraded some sound stuff that we had been discussing doing anyway um but we were like well if we're gonna do it now's the time to do it and yep. you know let merrick's agent know okay this is what we have this is you know we have this little sound booth all set up we have this and that and you know, um, and that's another thing. If you haven't yet, check in with your agents. Oh my gosh, check in with your agents because if they haven't heard from you, they are assuming that you're just hunkering down and not wanting to work. So let them know what your comfort level is. Let them know what you're doing, how you're feeling, yeah. um, what equipment you have at home because I know that the agents um, and managers that I've spoke with, they want to know, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very interested to know what kind of, because they're reaching out to casting directors and they're keeping on top of things so yeah yep 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 <laughs> well this has been so fun victoria thank you so much for taking the time now how are you on social media would you love all of my followers to follow you and and what's your favorite platform um i i am more i'm do more on instagram than i do on twitter but they are both yeah <laughs> they are both at Vic Hoffman LA so uh which is interesting you know back in the day when we set up all of our accounts I, I don't think I was thinking about branding so mm -hmm. so for now it's Vic Hoffman LA which is not exactly it should it should it should be grander than that shouldn't it Victoria Hoffman casting there you but go so long to yeah anyway so um no but I yeah I find it I, yeah I find it I I use Instagram more than Twitter um, Twitter for me right now, I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but it just in current time, there's a lot of, uh, anxiety on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not using it. Are you in a meeting? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Shared space. Shared space. Um, um, and yeah, and, uh, but I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of your listeners and your watchers, uh, probably have a better Instagram game than I do. <laughs> well, I, I feel like um, about everybody has a better Instagram game than I do. And, and I've gone through times when I've tried really hard and I've gone through times where I'm like, you know what? I just personally enjoy Instagram. So I'm here. And if I have followers, that's great. If I don't, I'm here. I'm going to love it. I'm just, I, I think as the things that I'm working on, as those start to come back and uh -huh. I'll be, I mean, I'm very engaged, obviously, yeah. but um, I'll be posting more and doing more like IG lives and things like from, if not from campus itself, then, you know, like with directors, you know, on projects so that people can see what's going on and what the process looks like. Yeah. I think that that would be useful. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, yeah. So everybody follow her and I'm going to leave the links below, of course. And do you have a website as well? Yeah, it's just victoriahoffman.com. There you go. I like that. I got that. I got that. The, uh, we're, the, the new and improved is actually going live tonight, I think. So. Oh, so before this airs, because this will air Thursday. So, you hey. be up. so everybody go check out. Give her a bunch of traffic to her <laughs> new and improved <laughs> website. Let's Let just me know shut it down. Doing. We'll just like... <laughs> overwhelm it your server will be you know with all of my um 50 <laughs> followers Dolph. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yes that's great so we'll go check out your new website i'm excited to Thank see you. It. and everybody will follow 
follow you on Twitter and on Instagram. And of course, follow me everywhere. I'm all over the place um, as well. And this has been, I'm just so excited. I'm just excited to see you. I just want to talk <laughs> your ear off. Um, but uh, I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these vlogs. Make sure that you share this with all your friends and family and leave us tons and tons of comments. And most importantly, have an amazing week. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. We did it. Yay. <laughs>